Artificial intelligence is the most advanced machine we've made so far. And as it complexifies, it begins to draw away from us. We can't fully understand what it's doing, what it has the potential to do. So this is a crucial moment where we need to be able to do our very best to understand what they are becoming, what we are building into them. Hi, I'm Pranab Das. I'm a professor of physics at Elon University, and I'm the principal advisor for the Templeton World Charity Foundation's Diverse Intelligences Initiative. The Turing test is, is 67 years old now. It's based on a paper from 1950 the essential problem was, how do you create something that fools us? It was a fascinating paper and a really well done one, but we've moved on from there. Now we're not looking for something that fools us, we're looking for something that really evinces what we think of as being intelligence. There's amazing work going on trying to figure out what sorts of alternate, better, richer Turing tests there might be. Uh, there's one out of Seattle, a group called the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence. They're trying to get machines to do standardized tests, and I think they're up to grade four. You would have thought that would be easy, right? Because the fact base is certainly within the wheelhouse of any AI. The problem is context. The problem is, is reading natural language and understanding from that exactly what question is in play. So it turns out that building a machine that could solve the SAT, for example, is still well beyond us and is really cutting edge work right now. What if there was a Turing test about how you navigate the world, the physical space around you? I'm reminded of a robot that Boston Dynamics built. They had two kinds. One was a quadruped, a um, kind of a mule, and one was a human-like sort of biped. And in both cases, they were able to make it move around comfortably in the space. And to test it, they would whack it with a stick. And people all over the web responded to this. The social media world responded to the cruelty that they saw in the robotic designers. That sense of cruelty, I think, speaks to the fact that there lies something. The capacity to move around a space seems very important to us in the, in the kind of realm of all the intelligences in the world. The Templeton World Charity Foundation's Diverse Intelligence Initiative isn't just about building a better Turing test. All Turing tests are about imitation. They're about making us think a machine is like us. Well, obviously, I think it's obvious that machines aren't just like us. And what they do, what they can do, what they will do, will fit in a different box. It will occupy a different space. So it may be that no Turing test will ever succeed fully because there's some kind of a fundamental difference between us. I think it's a much more interesting question. What are the empty spaces? What are the negative spaces? Spaces that aren't currently occupied by the kinds of minds we have. If we could build AIs out into those negative spaces, I think that's the exciting possibility. That's the way in which artificial intelligence could deeply alter our experience of life.